Good day, everyone, and thanks for joining us here in the charts. You tune into the Market Beast edition. Yes, it is your fellow compadre speaking. I'd like to go explore uh, the DVAX ticker symbol with you all. Uh, just some technical details if you're new here. We don't go over any news, just uh, yeah, the charts, lines, and patterns, stuff like that. Support and resist to determine the direction of the market. So if that piques your interest, we'd love for you to subscribe with us. But don't do that yet. We want to go over the details and, of course, earn your subscription. Loyal subscribers, welcome back. The YouTube algorithm is promoting well with your engagements. Appropriate thumbs and comments. Thank you. It's promoting the channel and videos. Okay. So this is a request, one of our few requests that we're closing out here, DVAX. So let's go and dive right into the charts here, shall we? All right, so today's February the 3rd, 2021, and the previous close of the stock is going to be $8.49. It closed down approximately 1.4% for the day. Okay. All right, so uh, actually, we, we posted a video on this stock. Here's a video. It was posted on December the 31st, 2020. Notice the price was like $5.28. What I really wanted to show you is that the, the current lines that we're going to show you on the chart... I don't know if you can actually see it on the video as soon as my uh, internet connection is actually okay. See the lines there on the chart? I just want to show you that the original lines that I'm going to show you here. Yeah, so this is these are the same the same lines. So what I want to go over with you all is these are the weekly candles, and uh, we're going to go over to where we are in present day. Uh, I think the price we've already gone over the price, so this is where we are present day. But before we get to that, I just want to go kind of back in time just to show you the significance of this descending yellow line that it's not just a random line and it was particularly placed on the chart to understand the activity between the buyers and the sellers. So, what happens is the sellers step into this market very aggressively every single time the price gets above this yellow line. I can't make this up, okay? If you can see here, all the way back in uh, May the 17th, 2004, at a price tag of just over over like $88, this little clustered area here, the sellers push the price down below that yellow line. They kind of pick the buyers, pick it right back up. You see, they kind of give it a shot again. So I think it's pretty, I don't want to spend too much time on this. I just want to show you the significance of the white circles, right? When the price action spend some time just above that yellow line and the sellers just kind of push that price right back down. It's a really, it's a very, uh, intense line for the buyers to get above and stay above. I mean, they've been trying forever. I think this stock came out in like, what do we say, like 2004 or something like that. We went over a very extensive overview on the stock in that previous video. Hopefully we left a link uh, back in 2004 in March, okay, just below $100. All right, again, we get a little bit more into detail in the other video. Please take the time and, uh, you know, just kind of listen into it. Excuse me. So if you notice here, this is the last few uh, circles that we're going to go over and we're just going to go over to present day and I'll give you my assessment on what I'd like to see take place in this market. So right here at uh, March the 26, 2012, you can see it. The uh, buyers, they kind of step up to the plate, so to speak. Right. And they break it above that yellow line. This is at like fifty one dollars back at that time. And, then you know, pushed it down. Right. It's a really bad. It's a really like this line for the buyers is just, they, you know, just hasn't been working out for me. You see the clustered area here. September the 17th, 2012, and they push it down, okay? So let's just go ahead and go over to where we are present day, and I'll explain to you what I'd like to see take place in this market uh, within a specific amount of time, and here we are. Uh, we made it here, you wonderful folks. Uh, here's the price action within this circle, all right? So the buyers have stepped up to the plate, so to speak, okay? Uh, right here, February the 1st, 2021, Price tag of about nine dollars and forty six cents. Uh, so far, they have spent. Let's just do a really quick measurement of how much time they've been above this yellow line. Uh, it's been about twenty eight days. Now, as far as my technical research, it suggests that is this this is going to take place up to ninety one days. So that leads the, the date over to May the third, two thousand and twenty one. We should see a reaction from the buyers or the sellers. So here's the bottom line. You see racist. So you have the date. OK, the date represents how much time the buyers need to stay above this yellow line right here below the price. Now, it's going to vary in terms of where the yellow line is right now. It's at eight dollars and eleven cents. And let's just see if we can crank it on over to what does that say? May the third. OK. OK, so May the third, the price is it's a descending line. So it varies, right? Seven dollars and forty one cents. So if you just want to kind of. Get a general idea of a range in terms of the price. You could just say seven dollars and forty-one cents, all the way up to eight dollars and eleven cents. So that would look something like I'll just put like a rectangular box, 
right? 741, I think I said, short-term memory loss. I forgot already. All right, something like that, right? And 811, so something like that. If you're pulling up your charts, then you just kind of put that range up, something like that. And again, May the 3rd, 2021, this all needs to take place. What needs to take place is the buyers have stepped up to the plate, so it is their obligation to follow through with their obligation, right? What is their obligation? Pull up. I said that weird. It's their obligation to follow through to the upside, okay? Stay above $7.41, uh, up to like $8.11, do a little bit of consolidating, and show the sellers like, listen, guys, you've had enough control of this market, okay? It's time for us to flourish and rip to the upside. The buyer's obligation right now is to get above and stay above $11.80 and continue the momentum to the upside. Maybe find some sort of consolidation sideways range and just continue the trajectory to the upside because this price has been and an overall downtrend. Remember, the trend is your friend until the end. Is it the end? Well, as long as it can stay above that range that I just gave you, okay, 741 up to 811. The, at the worst case scenario, if the buyers fail as they have stepped up to the plate above this yellow line, I can't make this up. I've already gone over why the buyers have stepped up to the plate uh, because it's above this descending yellow line. That's been a challenge for this price action since day one. Okay, I've already showed you why. But in the worst case scenario, if the buyers step up to the plate above this yellow line and they cannot follow through with their obligation, then the worst case scenario, if the buyers can stay above this level right here at about $6.20, they should still have a fighting chance to rechallenge this yellow line. And I mean, really make some fireworks to the upside. I truly want to see the buyers follow through uh, with their obligation again is at $11.80 because it's really been a challenge for this. For those of you who have been invested in this stock ever since like 2004, I, I, I can't say I feel your pain, but you know, this is, it's been a real challenge. I'm not sure what this is guys. I'm not paid to say this. Okay. I'm, this is just a request. Uh, I just have to get all of that out of the way. Please execute your strategies. This isn't a video insinuating that you should buy this stock again. It's just a request. Okay. So these are the technicals that I'm seeing. Thank you for the request. We're going to close it out here. Hopefully you have the time frame, the range, uh, the uh, worst case scenario. If the buyers are truly stepping in, because right now we're looking at we're only referencing this from the March the 9th, 2020 level, which is at a price tag of about two dollars and five cents. It appears that the buyers are trying to step in with some momentum as they went up, made a high, a higher low. Right. And then right now their obligation is to get above eleven eighty. OK. Obligation means that, you know, they really have to do it. Otherwise, the sellers are just going to continue their control in this market. They've had control forever. So why would they stop now if the buyers cannot show that they have enough strength to break through the previous high, which is at eleven dollars and eighty cents? So that's it. OK, uh, just give the price time to mature. Let it develop over this yellow line and we'll see if the buyers have what it takes to really break through the previous level of uh, the recent, the most recent high, okay, 1180. So that's all I have for you wonderful folks. Hopefully this was useful information. So we're gonna cut it out here. Thank you for your time. Leave an appropriate thumb just below the video there. If, if you enjoyed the content, if you send the request, just say thank you. Okay, yeah, that's all I want. All right, and also before you go, if you're new, we covered the alternative markets. I'm not sure if you're into Bitcoin and altcoins. We cover that, subscribe with us at the bell. We'll see that information when it's available. And we covered everything. Yes, good, out right, we go guys. Take care of yourselves, protect your portfolios, execute your strategies okay we're going to talk very soon and bye for now